Hey everyone, I'd like to take a moment and give you a walkthrough of Uber Upload Cropper. Uber Upload Cropper has been around for probably over a year, but the previous version used Uploadify and Flash, and that wasn't always so fun if you know, you're using a mobile device that doesn't have Flash or you just don't like Flash. Well, over this next version, I decided to drop Uploadify and use an all JavaScript a plugin for jQuery called File Upload. Um, so it depends more on the browser's capability than, you know, Flash always has the same capability, but it falls back nicely and still provides you with an upload even if you do have an older browser. The newer version, this is the examples provided with the GitHub repository, and there's two examples. One's a basic example and the other is an advanced example which goes into more detail with cropping and such. We'll go ahead and get started with a, a quick walkthrough of the basic example. As you notice we can drag and drop and I've uploaded a pretty large picture so you're going to notice the first flaw of the cropping is when you upload a really big picture it's going to expand larger than the window and this is really why we need upload and crop capability so we can resize these for the web so it still works I'm using the newer version of impromptu of this so you can still get to uh, your scrolling and windows and everything the older version of impromptu didn't allow that as it would try to scroll with the window so let's just crop something real quick and you can see it cropped it out nicely and put it in our page um, so that's the first walkthrough, and you notice, of course, we need to do some resizing before we even bring it back to the user. That way it fits on the page nicely. And that's where we're going to jump to the advanced example. It looks pretty much the same, we're just going to do some different back-end handling. So we'll drop the same picture in here, and you see it resizes it to about 500 pixels wide, and that fits nice into most web pages. And we'll also have some scaling capabilities. Since it is such a large picture, we can resize and we can still crop and not lose tons of quality. So we'll go ahead and save that. And you can tell it went back to the original version and cropped it out. So now you are wondering well, how all this works with the cropping and such. Let's take a look. There's two uh, scripts which are called with the Uber Upload Cropper. The first is the Upload, which does nothing more than upload the image. And in the case of the advanced example, it also resizes the image. But you'll notice, you know, just some basic uploading limits, size limits, allowed extensions. And I'm actually using the provided class from the JavaScript file uploader to do the uploading and the reason I do that is because with the plugin it may be passed with PHP the file object or it could be passed with git according to the browser's capability and so I just use their library because it already implemented all of that handling and just straightforward file upload and you pass back a, a JSON encoded string with the file name and the original file name and be sure to read through these comments because I, I did make a few little changes to the file uploader PHP class so that it would return back the file name and the original file name. Uh, I had some users and myself was needing to pass it back to Uber Upload Cropper the original file name and the I guess unique file name and so I had to make a few tweets for that to accommodate for such. The second script that's called is the crop script and this is called after you've made your selection from the image and you've submitted it and it sends back to this page the crop and my example here is pretty straightforward we just use a my provided class for resizing images it just uses the PHP GD library and it does a pretty decent job of resizing of course if you want really good quality you might want to use another library like image magic or something but this works pretty well and this is the basic example so this just loops through each file passed back 
and resizes or crops. You're probably wondering about the for each loop. The original idea behind Uber Upload Cropper was you can upload multiple images and crop multiple images, queue them up into a list of images with jcrop and crop each one and just submit it and it would batch crop all those files. Um, the previous version there were some issues maybe it was my own programming limitations I'm not sure but I could not get jcrop to stack up multiple uh, cropping widgets so right now it's always just going to pass one and the uploads only going to allow you to upload one um, now we'll take a look at the advanced example the upload you'll notice here we do the same upload but we make a copy of the image and I, I called it in this example full size this is the full size copy at the full resolution and then we resize an image to pass back to the user and I resized it you can tell I get the aspect ratio and use my little library to resize and I just resize to 500 because that seems to fit in most browsers pretty nice and then we crop that image on the way back and this is where it gets a little fun because you remember we have the full size image which is really the one that needs to be cropped and we're just going to discard the resize one we don't really need it we just needed the coordinates for it and so you can tell we uh, pretty much switched the files back moved the full size image back to the original file and then we scale our coordinates our x and y and then our width and our height and we knew for a fact that we resized it to 500 so we just plugged in hard-coded 500 here and created that percentage change and everything just scales nicely and so you just crop that full-size image and then you do whatever resizing you need to do it's you can make thumbnails or whatever at this point and I've tried to comment it pretty well just to point out what you do and where you do it and that's pretty much it as far as the uploading and the cropping it will take a little bit of heavy lifting on your side to you know get your resizing your cropping and there's several settings you can use in the uploadify um, just the basic uploading extensions allowed the fun part's going to come in with jcrop you're going to need to you know set your your aspect ratio and your minimum and maximum sizes and this kind of restricts how the user can resize and if you're needing a 200 by 200 thumbnail for your client's website you need to restrict it this way at least make the the sizing consistent 200 by 200 and then let it scale from there but keep the aspect ratio so that's pretty much it that was a quick walk through uh, the easiest way is just to get in there and dig through the code I've tried to comment it as good as I can and these are not production ready examples these are just to get you started and they should be pretty easy to plug and play so uh, feel free to stop by the website trentrichardson.com and leave any comments or suggestions or uh, leave some code if you want to contribute something. I appreciate it. Thanks.